Okay, 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 okay. Just one more little pinch of a story and then I'm going to bed, okay? Do y'all remember when Nicki Minaj went on the Funk Flex show in 2018 and lied about Safari writing lyrics on her album? And it's so funny because Nicki lied just literally trended just a couple weeks ago. But yeah, so Sister Girl was on there and answering some questions from Funk Master Flex and he basically explained to her why he reported about Safari writing her lyrics. And they discussed the fact that, you know, some of the more legendary artists have had men writing for them. This isn't a foreign concept in the in the realm of female rap. But oh no, you know, she had to have all the credit. Meanwhile, Safari is getting checks. Y'all know what's next. The receipts. You know, you were next to Gucci, you were next to Wayne. Yeah. It, 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 it felt like that. And then I feel like uh, Safari maybe knowing the, the older, knowing that what, what a lot of people had believed a New York rapper to be, mm -hmm. a female, and him saying that, yes, I did he buy used into that. He manipulated the world because of that prior information. The, the yes. world knowing that other big female MCs have gotten people to write for them. He knew by saying that it wouldn't be a stretch. And he knew by so many people yes, always wanting. I agree. He knew by so many people always wanting to tear me down in some way, and they just couldn't find something to you know tear me down with. He knew that was it, and that had all. All, the only reason he did that was because he was hurting inside because he shitted on me and finally got shitted on. And imagine that. Well, I'm like, I'll imagine that. And what's funny is at the time, I believed her. And you want to know something? The craziest part is that I actually believed her. I believed her until I started to listen to Remy. Then I used common sense. You had to have had writers. Everyone has writers. And I remembered that he had sued her for credit. Oh, but when I went to go research her for these receipts, honey, I went and discovered a little something something. You can pause it to read it, but essentially, Safari Samuels is one of the writers who did it on him. The surprise came when I went to look up the writers for Roman Revenge. Because as you can see, Safari's name isn't right here. And what's even more crazier is that claim that she didn't have any ghostwriters. Because since Safari's not credited, wouldn't that make him a ghostwriter? <laughs> 